So you've been wanting to start your own t-shirt business, but you haven't. Either you're intimidated, you don't know how, you're scared, or more than likely, you've come across information overload. Now, don't you worry, because in this video, we're going to be covering everything that you need to know on how to get started selling t-shirts online. We're going to cover how to start your own online store, how to get designs, how to make mock-ups, and finally, how to print your shirts. Now, what if you don't know how to design? Well, don't worry about that because we're going to cover that as well. Now, if starting your own t-shirt business is something that you've always wanted to do, but haven't, then just make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so that way you can get the most out of it. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, before we actually do get started, I did forget to mention one thing. My name is Mario with Neko Prints, and if you enjoy these kinds of videos, if you like learning about the t-shirt business, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, now we can get started. So to start things off, the first thing that we're going to do is start our online store. And for this, we're going to be using Shopify. Now, I've used other platforms before. I've used Wix, Big Cartel, and Shopify. And I have to say, hands down, my favorite is probably always going to be Shopify just because of how much you can customize it. It's super organized. You can do pretty much whatever you need to do with your store. You can make it look however you want. So my recommendation is stick to Shopify. Now, if you do want to try Shopify, then just go ahead and check out the link in the description below. Using that link, you can get a trial for Shopify for three months for just $1 each month. Now, I don't know how long that promo is going to run for. So if you've been wanting to try Shopify, now's the time. It's practically free. It's just $1 each month for three months. All right, so to start things off, we're gonna get this done pretty quick and fairly easy. Now, the first thing that it's gonna ask us is, let's get started, which one of these best describes you? And honestly, just skip all. It doesn't really matter. None of this stuff really makes any difference. This, however, does make a difference. So we're gonna be located in the US. Now create a Shopify ID. I'm just gonna go ahead and log in with Google. Now, in order to get the three month trial for $1 each month, you do have to select a plan. So once you come on here, just go ahead and select the plan. And me, typically, I just choose the cheapest one, but I like the yearly subscription because it's a lot cheaper going with the yearly one versus the monthly. But honestly, that really all depends on you and what you think works best for you. So just go with whatever works best for you. Okay, so our Shopify store is pretty much created. It's up and running. Now we just have to customize it, add our products and start coming up with some designs and making some sales. So let's go ahead and actually start doing that now. Let's start setting up the theme for our store to make it look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on online store. And once we're on that, the default theme is the Dawn theme. Um, personally, I like this one right here, the refresh, but you can go with whatever works best for you and which one you like. In this case though, I'm actually gonna go with this one, the right, because I like the color scheme. I like the green and black. Once you go ahead and add it, then it's going to start installing it. All right, so it's ready. Let's go ahead and hit customize. Oh, by the way, so when you start your Shopify store, it's actually going to ask you for a name for your Shopify store. Uh, in my case, it didn't ask me because for some reason it keeps defaulting to high tech hounds. I made a store once called high tech hounds and then every other store that I've made afterwards has stayed as high tech hounds one, two or three. But that doesn't really matter because ultimately I can change it. Um, but if you're just starting off and this is your first store, it will ask you to input a name and then that name is going to be what comes up here also on the url or on the link up here that's also where your store name is going to pop up so it would actually look like this hightechhounds.myshopify.com all right so let's go ahead and customize it so i like how it looks already honestly i think it looks great i like the color scheme those are actually some of my favorite colors i like how this looks um so the changes that we're going to make right now are minimal so let's go ahead and first edit this right here so we have an image with text. So it's going to have some text along with an image. So to get a free, so to get free images, I suggest going to pexels.com. Here you can get free stock images and videos, and you don't even have to credit any creators. So here, let's just go ahead and look for t-shirts. And I like this one right here. So I'm going to download that. Now back out our Shopify store, I'm going to click on the section that we want to edit. And here on the right hand side, where it says image to text, I'm just going to go ahead and upload my image. Actually, I can just drag and drop. Now, after that uploads, just click on done. And there we have it. Nice little picture. Now, browse our latest products. This, I'm going to go ahead and change. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to put shirts because it's going to be specific for shirts. This website's going to be specific for shirts. Now, when they click on the shop button, it's just going to take them to a web page with all of our products. So I'm going to leave that as is. 
these I'm going to leave as well. So here we're just going to have four different products or four different shirts that we're going to publish and subscribe to my emails. This is actually something pretty good to have because it helps you build an email list where you can start your email marketing. You know, you can send out specials, special offers, discounts, stuff like that. So again, uh, I like how it looks. I'm not going to do too much up here. Actually, let's remove this high tech hounds because obviously this is not going to be a high tech hound store. So what we're going to do with this is we're actually just going to go ahead and replace it with an actual logo. Now, what if you don't have a logo? Well, it's pretty easy to create one. So let's just go ahead and run over to Hatchful. Now, Hatchful is pretty much Shopify's logo maker. It's totally free. Um, it makes some pretty basic logos. There's also a bunch of other options that you can use. You can get custom created logos on Fiverr or Upwork. You can also use AI to create different logos. You can use something like Midjourney. Another option you have is websites like Canva or or the website that I'm going to show you to create your designs, Vexels. But for now, let's just go ahead and create a simple one with Hatchful. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what's it going to be? In this case, it's going to be fashion since we're just doing shirts. Then what kind of style do I want? I want innovative. Actually, I want futuristic. Now, what's our business name? So for this one, I'm going to call it Let's make it niche based. So let's do an anime niche because I know they have a lot of anime shirts on Vexels or anime designs. So I'm going to call it animate. Tell us where your logo will be used. So we're going to use it on an online store. And usually you would also end up using it for social media. And you know what? Let's go ahead and choose print and swag too, because ultimately you're going to end up printing your logo on your shirts most of the time. So let's go with that and then click on next. Now, these are a few of the different logos that they gave us. Again, it's pretty simple. Um, none of these really have much to do with anime. So actually, I kind of like this one. Simple, not too crazy. And yeah, you know what? I like it. I'm just going to stick with this. So we got that there. Let's just go ahead and download it. Okay, so I got the file. It actually sent it to my email. Um, and there's a bunch of different images on here. So let's see what they have. And this is actually pretty cool because it gives us our logo in a few different aspect ratios. So we have the ones for our banner and then we have the square ones. Oh, and you even have a little favicon. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go here. Let's click on our header. You see here where it says edit your logo. Click on theme settings. Then here is where we're going to upload our logo. So I uploaded one without the background on it. So it should look better. There you go. That looks good. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it 200 pixels. And that looks good. Now, this didn't save. I forgot to hit save. There you go. Browser latest shirts. Always make sure you hit save because if not, it's going to erase. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's all we have to do to get our store up and running. Uh, I like how it looks. But obviously, customize it to your preference, however you like it. Spend a little bit more time on it. I'm just showing you the basics on how to get started. All right, so we have our store pretty much set up. Now, we are going to need to make things like policies. You're going to need to do a return policy, a privacy policy. You can easily just go on Google and look up privacy policy generator. And you'll find tons of different ones. I've actually used Termly. Termly is great and it's free for one. Then you can also do a shipping policy generator, which actually Shopify has one. So if you so if you Google it and then you look for the Shopify listing, how to create a Shopify policy. Now here, all you have to do is copy this and swap out whatever text that you need to swap out. Now, another policy is going to be the return policy. So return policy generator. And once again, Shopify has a free template. So just go ahead and Google it. It's going to take you to this page. Now it's going to tell you this whole thing about the trial. Click on, I'll skip the Shopify trial for now, fill this out, and then it'll send it to your email. So now it's time to actually start making some designs or finding some designs. So to do this, it's super easy. And I'm going to use a service that I absolutely love and it's called Vexels. Now, honestly, <laughs> I suck at designing. I really suck at designing things from scratch. It's not my thing. I wish I could because I love the process of designing. I love the fact that you can, you know, create your own designs and put your vision on either a screen or a piece of paper, but it's just not in me. So I use Vexels. Now, the cool thing about Vexels is that you can find tons of different images. 
you can find pretty much for any niche, for any holiday, for any season, almost anything you can think of. And if you can't find it, then you can actually request to have it made. These are all designs that I have thought about. I sent over to Vexels and they sent these back to me. So one that's relevant to what we're doing now is this one right here, which is the anime cat on a skateboard. So let's do this one because this one looks pretty cool. Let's actually just search up really quick anime. So you can see all of the different types of designs that they have. Now, as you can see, they have a lot. <laughs> so I actually think this one's pretty cool too. This other anime, Neko Cat. So let's go ahead and download that. Now let's make our mockups now that we have our designs. So now we're going to click on tools and then go to mockup generator. Now, once we're in here, we have tons of different mockups to choose from. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and actually upload our image. So I have this one here ready. I did have to import it to Photoshop to remove the background because the image itself had a gray square around it. But the cool thing is, is that this image in particular actually came also with a Photoshop file. So removing the background was super easy. So I do recommend that you have some sort of image editor to help you edit these images because there's always some sort of adjustments that you need to do. Now you can use Photoshop, but if you don't want to pay for it, you can use GIMP, which is pretty much the free version of Photoshop. All right, so this is ready. Let's go ahead and adjust it. Let's make it a bit higher. That looks good, pretty quick. Uh, let's go ahead and download this one. So I'm just gonna click on download. Uh, I am going to click on large just so that way it doesn't take up too much space on our Shopify store. One thing to note is that if your images are too big, if they're too heavy, if they have too many megabytes, then it is going to slow down the performance of your store. So the loading time on your web page could be a bit longer. So I'm just going to stick to large because that usually gives us some pretty good quality. Now I'm going to change it and I'm going to go for a hoodie actually. So let's go ahead and do a hoodie with one of our designs that we just downloaded. Let me go with this guy right here. All right, let's change that image though. And we're gonna upload. All right, so that looks good. Let's just lower it a little bit because that's a bit too high. Now let's change the color of the hoodie. Uh, I actually want black, it's too dark. There you go, that looks good. All right, so that looks good to me. And the last one, I'm just gonna make a basic t-shirt. You know what, I'm gonna go with this dude again. And there we have it. That looks pretty good right there. Now, I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So let's try to fill up the shirt like that. That looks good. Now, when it comes to the mock-ups, it's also really important to note that while you do want models wearing them, while you want people uh, wearing your shirts, like in this case, it's also important to make mock-ups with just the garment themselves or the product or whatever you're selling. So as a quick example, scroll down until we can find one that's just the shirt itself, like these right here. So you can go with any one of these. Um, if these backgrounds don't really fit your part, you could just keep looking for more. There's gonna be tons more. So you have a bunch of different designs to choose from, different mock-ups, different backgrounds, just different styles. So let's jump back over to our Shopify store. Uh, everything is saved. Let's click on exit and we're gonna click on products. Now we're gonna add our product. And here, the first thing we need to do is add our titles and our description. So first I'm gonna upload the mockup. So it's the skater tee. So I'm gonna put skater Nyko t-shirt. And this is actually where it gets pretty cool. So Shopify has this thing called Shopify magic where it pretty much just writes a description for you. It uses AI. Um, you can write your own descriptions, but I'm gonna make it easy and I'm just gonna click on this little thing right here that says generate text. Now it's asking me for features and keywords. So in this case, typically I use cotton t-shirts. So I'm gonna type in cotton t-shirt with a with an image of a skater girl with cat ears. Now tone of voice, we can change it. So I like playful and special instructions. Do we wanna add emojis or anything like that? No. Nah. So let's go ahead and click on generate text and let's see what it comes up with. Jumpstart your wardrobe with this skater nickel t-shirt featuring a playful cotton t-shirt with the image of a skater girl with cat ears. You'll be turning heads left and right, channel your streetwise sass, and show the world that you've got personal style. <laughs> all right, let's just go ahead and keep that. That's pretty, that's all right. I mean, it's just a description for a t-shirt, right? What are you, what, what are you really gonna do? Um, but we do wanna change a couple of these things. Switch this over to skater girl nickel t-shirt. Now afterwards, if you want, you can add any other details. So maybe you wanna add the weight, maybe it's a six ounce jersey style, maybe you're printing using polyester, that's up to you. Now let's scroll down, price, that's really gonna depend on you. 
uh, for regular t-shirts, when it comes to full color t-shirts, I usually sell them between 18 to about $22. It really depends on the method that I use to print. But realistically speaking, I'll probably here for the price, I'll put $19.99. And just so people always think that it's on sale, I'll put $24.99 at the compare at price. Now track quantity, you can click this if you want Shopify to track your quantity or how many you have in stock. Personally, I don't do that because I just run to Michael's or to my supplier and I get the shirts that I need and then I print them. But this is really up to you. Are you gonna have preloaded stock or are you gonna be printing on demand? Or are you gonna be using a print on demand service? In this case, we're not gonna be doing print on demand. This is all self-printed, so we're gonna be printing these ourselves, which I'll actually get to right at the end of this. So once again, in my case, I don't track quantities. Uh, shipping, so you're gonna have to put the shipping weight. Typically, each t-shirt weighs about six to eight ounces um they're not that heavy so i'll just put eight ounces and to make things easier you can make a shipping profile for all of your listings which i 100 percent recommend you do if you want me to go into more detail for all of these different steps you know for like the shipping the different policies making a nicer store just let me know down in the comments below and i'll take it into consideration for a future video I'll make a more detailed video on starting your own Shopify store. So here it's actually going to ask you before the shipping weight, sorry, I forgot to tell you this, whether it's a physical product or a digital product. So you can upload digital products. If you want to sell, let's say designs, you can upload your own designs and sell them on here. But in this case, we're doing a physical product. And do we have any variants? We're selling t-shirts. So of course we're going to have variants. So typically we're always going to have a different size, small, then medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. And we're just going to keep it at that. Now, if we want to change the different prices, a lot of people like to make extra, extra larges a bit more expensive because typically it does cost a bit more to produce. Uh, we can change it over here. So we can make this $23.99 and then just go ahead and click save. And that's all there is to it. Now to make things a bit more organized, you can always add different tags. So you can make this a uh, skater t-shirt and then you can categorize it with other skater t-shirts. Um, but again, I'm not gonna be doing that in this video because it's just gonna take way too long. Now to make things easier, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this and I'm gonna change the title. So for this one, I'm just gonna put Samurai Warrior Girl T-shirt or Sam Sam Samurai Warrior Anime Girl T-shirt. And I'm going to duplicate the product. It's important to note when you duplicate products, they're always going to be in the draft section. So just make sure you put it under active. Otherwise, it won't show up on your store. Now, as for the description, we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click on the generate product description. I'm going to put Samurai Warrior Anime Girl T-shirt made of cotton. Be the ultimate anime fan warrior with this stylish Samurai Warrior Anime Girl T-shirt. Crafted from 100% cotton for a comfortable fit. Express your bold character and unique style without having to draw a sword and look sharp in the process. I like how this came out. So this is going to be actually for the hoodie. Whoops. So let's just switch this over to hoodie. And same thing here. Hoodie. Now obviously hoodies are going to be more expensive. So here to change all of the prices at once. All we have to do is select all of the ones we want to change. First let's make sure to save because otherwise everything's going to get lost. And then click on bulk edit. Now once we're under bulk edit all we have to do is type in here. I'm going to do 39.99. Click this little square here, drag all the way down, and it copies. Click on save, and that's it. Now we just have to update the XXL. So the XXL is going to be 45.99. Let's go with that. And that is all there is to it. Um, it's, again, really easy because we duplicated it. So all of the different variations are going to be on there. Obviously, if we have different colors, that's also going to copy over. But in this case, I'm keeping it simple. Let's go back. Let's click on the Skater Neko t-shirt and let's duplicate this one for the last machine gun Neko. So here I'm actually gonna click on set as active because it really doesn't matter to me. I'm not gonna keep it as a draft generate text. Um, I'm not gonna read this cause it's gonna take too long, but I'm gonna keep it. And if you wanna read it, just click on pause really fast and read it. It's really good. Once again, all of the variations are the same. All we gotta do, make sure it's active, save, that's it. Now let's go back down here to our online store and let's see how it's looking. So first I actually want to publish it because I want to make this the actual theme for the store. Then under online store, I'm going to click on view your online store so we can take a look at it. And so far it looks pretty good. If we had a fourth image or a fourth product, it would be over here. So it would look a bit more full. But aside from that, 
um, honestly, it looks good. So let's click onto one of these products. Let's do this one. Image looks good, pretty high quality, got the different variations, and that's pretty much how you're gonna start your online store. Now, how are you gonna print your shirts? Now, when it comes to the actual printing process for your t-shirts, that's gonna be 100% on you. And it's also gonna depend on what type of t-shirts you actually wanna sell. So if you wanna sell shirts like these that are full color with full on graphics, then you're gonna need some sort of printer that can do that or use transfers. So you can use something like a white toner printer, which if you wanna learn more about white toner printers, just go ahead and check out this video right here. The links will be down in the description below. Another option that you have is a DTG printer, such as that one right there. But those can run pretty expensive, typically over the 10,000s. So if you're just starting out, that might not be your best bet, but really ultimately that's up to you. And by the way, the white toner printer starts off at about three to four thousand dollars, depending on which one you get. Now, if you want to start on the cheaper side, you can always start with either sublimation or with heat transfer vinyl. But when you start with those, you are going to start to be limited on the types of designs that you can print. So if you're using vinyl, you're not going to be able to print designs like these that we just made because vinyl uses solid colors. So you can't really print on it. You can't print an actual image. Using vinyl is something that you have to learn. You have to learn how to make the designs with it. You have to learn how to cut it. And you have to learn how to layer the vinyl to get your desired end result. Sublimation is another option, but then you're limited pretty much to light color t-shirts, primarily white shirts. So for my lower selling designs, I'll use my white toner printer or my DTG printer. And if I have a best selling design, you know, a design that's constantly being ordered, then I'll just order transfers. I'll keep a stack of transfers, maybe 20, 30, 40, depending on how well the design is doing. And I'll just press them as I get orders. Now, when it comes to pressing, you're gonna need a heat press. It's best to have a good heat press. You can cheap out, you can go with an Amazon press, you can go with something like the one right here, the HTV ROM press, but this is really more of a hobby press. Personally, I use the Heat Press Nation Signature Series. It has a pull-out drawer and automatically opens. I've been using it for about three or four years now, and it's a workhorse. I use it all the time, and it's still holding up really well. Now, when it comes to marketing your business and getting it in front of the eyes of new customers, there's quite a few different ways to do it. For one, you can go with paid ads like Facebook ads, or you can simply just go on TikTok and start making some videos of your t-shirt. Start making videos of your process, how you make it, you know, start making some skits, some funny videos, whatever it is that you do, just make sure you're creative, make sure you're dedicated and make sure it's good. <laughs> Don't just take a picture of the shirt, you know, with some horrible lighting and post it up on Instagram because people aren't gonna like that. You wanna make sure when you show off your products, make sure that they look good and even better than they actually are. So ultimately to market your t-shirt business, you have a few different options. Facebook ads, which are paid, organic traffic, which is gonna be things like posting on TikTok, posting on YouTube, posting on Instagram, and you can also go ahead and post on Facebook groups. So when you're on a Facebook group, just make sure that you're answering relevant questions. Now, that's pretty much the gist of it. That's how you can get started selling online. This video was geared specifically towards t-shirts, but honestly, it's the same for any other product. If you wanna sell a lamp, you can just post up a lamp on there. Shopify is super easy to use and there's so much more that you can do with it than what I'm showing you. If you want more details on any of this or if there's any features that you wanna learn from Shopify, just let me know down in the comments below. If there's anything you wanna learn, let me know down in the comments below. I wanna thank all of you for watching today. It means a huge deal to me, especially if you watched all the way to the end. Remember that all of the links that I spoke about in this video are gonna be in the description down below. Quick disclaimer, they are affiliate links. So if you click on them and you make a purchase, I am gonna get a small commission. Of course, that is at no cost to you. It's actually at the cost and expense of the companies. So purchase all you want. Once again, my name is Mario with Nico Prince. Huge thank you for watching and being here with me today. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.